Hey, what's up guys, EFX Bro here, and for those of you who don't know, After Effects CS6 was released last week, and I'm super excited to have gotten the chance to use it over the last week, and I'm not going to waste any of your time, I'm going to go ahead and get into showing you all of the new features in 6 minutes, that's After Effects CS6 in 6 minutes. Now if you want a more detailed tutorial, I'm going to be going through everything in more detail in the link in the description, so go ahead and check that out for all of you that are new to CS6, which is pretty much everyone, so let's go ahead and get started here. First we have our global RAM cache and what that means is that we have improved rendering and if we bring in this clip here we can see that we have a layer which has an effect rolling shutter repair applied to it and we can render it out the old fashioned way right here which may take some time because we have this effect added to it or what we can do is actually cache it to work area background. So now it's going to start rendering it and we can do whatever else we want. We can take a look here. We can see this blue and this green. The green means that it's rendering it to RAM cache, which means we can play it back in real time right away. And then the blue means that it's rendering it to our disk cache, which means it's saving it to our hard drive rather than our RAM. So what that's going to do is allow us to play it back a lot smoother. So we're going to leave this going for now, but we can come back to that later. Looking now at the addition of ray tracing, we can enable it here by clicking on this render from classic 3D and changing it from classic 3D to ray trace 3D. We can also adjust our quality as well as the type of anti-aliasing features. If you don't know what ray tracing means, go ahead and Google it. But we're going to hit OK and now we can see that we can actually extrude things in 3D. Here we have a background layer which we have used ray tracing to actually bend. So we have this background layer and if we look at it here we can see that it's being extended into 3D and so we're actually really bending the background layer. And so we're using ray tracing to make a real 3D object. Prior to CS6 After Effects could only work in 2.5D and now we can work in full 3D with the addition of ray tracing. We can also extrude and bevel geometry. We can work with transparency and refractions. We can add reflections to our footage and use environment maps as well for adding these reflections. We can also import vector layers from Adobe Illustrator and create shapes which can also be extruded in 3D with an After Effects CS6. Let's go ahead and move on now to the visual effects features in After Effects CS6. We can do 3D motion tracking. We can refine our tracks with our 3D camera solver, all within After Effects CS6. We can create new cameras and layers. We can work with shadow catchers. We can export 3D camera tracking data into Cinema 4D. We can provide variable width mask feathering, which is actually one of my favorite features in After Effects CS6, which means we can use one mask and adjust the feathering that will occur in different parts of one single mask. Our effects library has also been updated. We have added a few new effects, including the rolling shutter effect. We have updated Psycore effects, so it's going to look a lot better. And then last but not least, one of my favorite tools is we have new shortcuts, including the Add to Render Queue shortcut. So when you're all done with your shot, you no longer have to click on Composition here and Add it to the Render Queue. You can simply hit the short key. And now let's go ahead and move back to our Pokeball Comp, and we can see that this entire shot has been rendered into our disk cache. And if we now choose to render it, we can see that it's going to move through it so much faster than it would have if we hadn't. So really cool working here in After Effects CS6 allows us to work with much more speed, agility, and efficiency. Okay, maybe not agility, but nonetheless, if you haven't gotten a chance to check out After Effects CS6, you can download a free trial. A link will be provided in the description. And I would encourage you to test it out and see how you like it. This has been VFX Bro with an After Effects CS6 overview. Again, there are much more detailed free tutorials in the link below. Until next time, take care.